my name is Kiran Makkar and today I am going to discuss with you ideas for a cue card uh, as seen in the IELTS speaking test. Describe a useful thing that you once borrowed. What you borrowed, who lent this thing to you, what kinds of features this thing has, explain why you think it is useful. So basically this is a cue card of describing things and uh, uh, you can borrow anything, you can borrow notes, you can borrow a cell phone, you can borrow a laptop, you can borrow um, clothes, you can borrow uh, anything and I have made my cue card uh, with, the, uh, with the clothes so it is separate for the girls and the boys and uh, I uh, this will also satisfy another cue card which is being seen uh, describe an item of clothing someone gave you so borrow anything you borrow you have to return it that is the main thing and uh, so here are uh, my sample answers for the girls in our life we all need to borrow and lend things from time to time I have also borrowed many things in my life here I would like to talk about a traditional suit which I borrowed from my friend it so happened that last month it was my cousin's wedding. I wanted to buy a new suit. I went to many shops for buying a new suit but whatever I liked was very expensive. I knew I would not be wearing that suit for many times so spending a lot on that seemed wastage of money to me. My friend Suman was with me she suggested me to try her suit, which she had got stitched for her sister's wedding. I immediately went with her to her home. I tried her suit and it fitted me as if I had got it stitched for myself. It was a bottle green suit with magenta and golden embroidery. It also had a multicolored stole to go with it which had a golden lace on all sides. It was studded with golden beads. It had a very traditional ethnic touch to it. It was a very beautiful suit. The stole was in crinkled silk. She gave me matching accessories also. She gave me a golden beaded purse to go with it. I wore my traditional Punjabi shoes which matched perfectly with that suit. When I wore that suit, everyone complimented me. I felt very good when I received those compliments. I got the suit dry cleaned after the function and thanked Suman for saving my money. So this is the cue card that I have prepared for you and I hope you uh, like the ideas. And uh, for the boys, it is slightly different. Uh, in our life, we all need to borrow and lend things from time to time. I have also borrowed many things in my life. Here, I would like to talk about a traditional Sherwani which I borrowed from my friend. It so happened that last month, it was my cousin's wedding. I wanted to buy a new dress. I went to many shops for buying something unique. But whatever I liked was very expensive. I knew I would not be wearing that dress for many times, so spending a lot on that seemed wastage of money to me. My friend Rohan was with me. He suggested me to try his Sherwani, which he had bought for his sister's wedding. I immediately went with him to his home. I tried his Sherwani and it fitted me as if I had got it stitched for myself. It was a black Sherwani with golden buttons and maroon embroidery. It also had a silken stole to go with it. It was studded with golden beads. It had a very traditional ethnic touch to it. It was a very beautiful dress which I wore with a black pajama. The stole was in crinkled silk. It had a golden lining. I bought traditional Punjabi shoes to go with it. Everyone complimented me. They said that I looked very handsome. 
I felt very good when I received those compliments. I got that Sherwani dry cleaned after the function and thanked Rohan for saving my money. So this is very similar uh, to the one I made for the girls and uh, this can be spoken by the boys. Here are some sample answers to some follow-up questions. What do Indian people usually borrow? Indian people usually borrow many things depending on their need. Some people borrow money and some borrow gadgets. Students borrow notes. They borrow things they don't have and need only for a short time. Does borrowing things make people uncomfortable? It depends on the person. Borrowing makes people uncomfortable only if they are borrowing from a person they don't know well. When I borrowed the dress from my friend, I did not feel uncomfortable because I knew her well. But if you borrow something and spoil the thing before returning, then certainly it's a very embarrassing situation. What to do if you don't want to lend something to others? If I don't want to lend something, I just say sorry to the person and tell him or her why I don't want to lend that thing. Sometimes the thing is very precious to you and you don't want to share it. It is okay not to lend that thing. Why do people dislike lending valuable items? People dislike lending valuable items because they fear that the thing may be lost or damaged by the borrower. What would you do if your friends didn't give back what they borrowed from you? I would ask the thing back from them if they don't return the thing. Sometimes a person may have just forgotten to return for no reason. I don't think it is wrong or embarrassing to ask for your own thing to be returned. So these are my ideas for the uh, follow-up questions. I hope you've enjoyed the cue card. If you have, don't forget to click on the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more such cue cards and essays and graphs and letters. Thank you.